Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed my last Christmas holiday makeup tutorial for you. Um, it's just pretty much a affordable drugstore holiday look. Everything I use, I believe you can either get it from a drugstore or it's super, super cheap. I peep out my tree. I did that. I have officially reached my Christmas goal, my 200 subscribers. I just want to say thank you guys so much for helping me reach this goal. I don't know what else to say, but Merry Christmas and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye! As you can see, my brows are already done and my lids are already primed, so I'm going to be starting off with my Maybelline's Nude Palette. And I'm just going to take this BH Fluffy Brush. Um, I'm taking that the lightest one of the lightest colors out of the palette just to use as a transition shade i really wasn't sure where i was taking this look so just bear with me as we go through it but i promise as it comes to a finish it will look kind of good <laughs> so i'm gonna be taking this what is it the cover girl this cover girl eyeshadow palette i found just laying around in my room and i'm taking that copper shade and i'm gonna put that in my crease Now taking this chocolate brown out of the CoverGirl palette, I am going to place it in my outer V just to add some more color and some definition to this look. So at this point I was like, well, let's go for a smoky eye. So I started to add the chocolate brown all over my eyes and then I stopped and I was like, let's move on to my brow bone. <laughs> so I'm taking the palest shade out of the palette and I am just going to place it on my brow bone and then of course blend it out with my Sigma brush. Okay, so now I'm like, let's go for a halo eye. So I got the chocolate brown and I started to add it into my inner corners. And when I used the copper color the first time, it really didn't show up. So I was like, okay, let's place it on my lids. Why not? So that's what I'm just doing here. And then I know I wanted to add some glitter to this look. So I just put the copper on my lids. And then I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild glitter. Um, I, I'm going to have everything listed down below for you guys. So I'm sorry about not knowing what products I'm using. But I promise they will be down below. So taking the Wet n Wild glitter, it's kind of like a paste. So instead of um, tapping it on your eyes, try and rub it because when I rub it, it seems to stick more. And when I tap, it just stays on the brush. So just make sure you rub it, but make sure you rub gently just for the fact that it is glitter. So after placing the glitter on my lids, I'm going to move on to liner and I'm just going to add a quick wing with my e.l.f. liner. So since this is an affordable drugstore look, my primer today I'm going to use um, Baby Skin So Soft. I believe it's by Maybelline. Um, I really don't like this primer, but this is the only drugstore primer I do have. It does seem to get me a little bit oily, so that's why I use my Maybelline Master Fix setting powder on top of my primer. Just to give me a little bit of the mattifying look. And then for my foundations, I'm going to mix my L'Oreal Infallible and my Milani foundation. I'm going to have my colors down below, but I do believe they're both in classic tan. And for concealer today, well, every day, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Conceal in light to medium. This is hands down the best drugstore concealer I have ever used. Um, if there is anything better, someone let me know. But as of right now, to me, I am saying this is the best drugstore concealer. Look, I'm not even completely finished blending the concealer out and look at how flawless it looks already. Like everything is just completely covered. Like it's just it's just bomb. I'm I'm shook. Moving on to contour, so I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Expresso. Um this contour this not this contour, this concealer is really really affordable you can get so many of these little tubes for like 
three dollars and I mean you can get as many colors as you want just if you if you're not sure of your color since they are so cheap it's really easy to be able to find your color because you can buy as many as you want and then just use them for different things so I am just going to place this on all of the areas where I want to contour and you can't forget about contouring the nose I never put the product directly onto my nose i just always use whatever is left over on my brush i used to put it on to put the product on my nose and my nose contour was way too harsh so if you do put it directly on your nose just make sure you blend it out as much as you can i am now moving on to baking for baking i just mix the maybelline master fix setting powder with my bed nye because the master fix was a little bit too too white on me and I didn't want to have a flashback so I just made sure I mix it with my bed knife because that is my go-to today I'm going to use my black radiance powder in bronze glow to set my cream contour And of course I have to take it down my nose to set that as well and then you all know that I'm going to be using my Real Techniques brush and my Sigma tapered brush to dust away all of the extra powder I do have on my face. And once again with the Real Techniques I just push it into my skin and then with the Sigma brush I dust it away. Moving on back to my eyes so we can finish that I am going to take um, that dark brown color and I am just going to smoke out my bottom lash line for liner I'm going to be using my max Smolder liner and I'm just going to line my waterline I just now also realized that this is not a drugstore liner, but this is actually what I had on my makeup table, so sorry. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to set my brows with my e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. This is actually my first time using this. Um, it's pretty good. I still don't like it as much as my Ulta Brow Gel, but I just wanted to try something different. Um, for blush, I am going to be using my e.l.f. Um, blush palette. I am taking that shade that I just showed you and I'm just going to um, add some colors to my cheeks. For lippy today, I am going to take my Ellery lip liner from ColourPop and I am just going to outline my lips and get that ready for my ultra matte lip color in I believe it's is it notion I think it's notion this, this combination is just so bomb it is so pretty I originally tried a brown lip with this look but I did not like it so I had to go more festive with the burgundy and after I do my lips I am just going to set my entire face with my NYX matte setting spray and that will complete the look for today.